Hey, what's up Dragon Soul Enthusiasts? Welcome back to another video. Now, I know I haven't made one in a while, but this one is uh, should be pretty good because there have been some updates that took place between now and my uh, last video. So the first thing I want to talk about is that they released... Oh, and by the way, I've uh, leveled up my... Where is he? Where the heck are you, bro? My black wing, uh, pretty high. Whoa. He's uh, orange six right now. I almost got him to cyan, so um, it's he's getting there. So like I said, I was gonna work on him the most. Uh, but they actually released his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's a guy dragon or a girl dragon, but they released the greedy dragon. Uh, so let's just uh, do a quick overview on this one. Actually. Even though it doesn't look so good, I think this might actually be a good hero. Uh, so, the Fire Exhalation. So, this powerful attack continuously breathes fire towards the enemies, dealing uh, magic damage, and consumes 250 skill energy every second while active. So, this might be a counter to... Uh, what is he? Oh, yeah, he's frontline too. So, this might actually be a counter to the... Um, uh, what's his name? The Karaoke King. So a lot of people are using Karaoke King now. Let me see. As one of their mains. But I think this new dragon. You see everybody's got Karaoke King instead of Spirit Wolf. Some people have both. Um, but I think this guy might be able to counter the Karaoke King. Because he should be able to get to the front line faster. And activate his white ability. Uh, meaning that the Karaoke King and all of the other... Um, Heroes that get hit by his flames won't be able to activate their white ability. So that might be actually pretty good. Uh, heavy landing, jump, and make an impactful landing dealing that much physical damage to enemies within its blast range. And knocks them back by 400. This powerful attack can also destroy shield. So this is pretty good against the Black Horse's shield and any similar heroes. Dragon boost. Uh, only work with the support from his ally dragons greedy dragon receives an incredible boost of that much hp that much anger and that much tenacity each ally uh, dragon you have in your team will double the boost amount so if you make a team of just dragons uh this guy could be potentially really powerful um yum yum greedy dragon uh consecutively from the nearest to the furthest casts a tasty tag on each enemy who doesn't have a tag all enemies with a tasty tag will receive that much basic damage if an enemy already has an unstable tag that enemy cannot receive a tasty tag so i think this guy also combined with the uh the spider what's it called what's the actual name of that spider where are you spidey spidey i don't have her leveled up that much but i've seen some pretty good combinations uh where are you spidey girl uh, if you guys see it let me know oh the ambush spider there she is so that guy combined with this one could also again potentially be a really good uh, uh, team setup because uh, the dragon will put tasty tags on them and the spider will ambush them and eat them really quick so uh, this is actually uh, you know what I'm actually gonna start investing in this lineup yeah this one with like something something like the uh, moon drake and and the dungeon man with a few dragons might be a good combination that could potentially take out the uh, the um, karaoke king lineups all right so the only problem is that uh, current lineups always have this chick the uh, dragon slayer so uh, that might be an issue but other than that I think it will be potentially one of the better heroes that comes out now I don't know if this update happened to all the servers but on server 6 the fancy pants server we have something new and it's not on this side it's not here let me know when you guys spot it nothing you guys see anything strange nothing here do you guys see oh wait no there was something here they added these new boss battles so i tried one out already uh i won so i'm gonna kind of show you guys what this looks like i'm gonna try to get to the whole boss uh to the boss in this video so these are the rewards you get for beating the boss. Uh, 
at and these are the levels that you need to even attempt the boss so that's pretty cool so far the highest is 120 um and i have a reset but i want to reset it yet all right so you start at a castle my recommendation is to start with a really low lineup uh for example these five because the first time i did it i used my best heroes and that was a bit of a mistake so let's see i'll show you why it was a mistake in a little bit Uh, unless I don't win, please win. Come on. Oh, come on, Hydra. Come on, little hatchling. Okay, he's useless. Alright, so I didn't win that round, but it's okay. Because... We can try it again. With a new lineup. So there you go. So the reason you want to use your weakest lineup is so uh, you see now there's only one left. They're definitely going to beat it. There you go. I probably used more power than I needed for that one. But I mean, it got the job done. The thing here is that as soon as you use uh, uh, certain heroes, you can't use them again. So that's why you want to start with your weakest ones and work your way up towards your best heroes. I just choose a line and work my way up. I know that my best heroes are at the very top, so... So far, it's worked out pretty nicely. I think this lineup should win. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Pretty good. Look at this guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There's another thing. Uh, really quick before I continue on to the next lineup. Um, let me claim all of that. Really briefly. Where is he? Where is he? Another update that happened was that the Raging Revenant got an orange skill now, which says it's called the Soul Rise, which increases his skill power by 2,000 basic damage uh, that much and a maximum of that much HP, which I think once you level it up should be pretty nice. So let's see. Let's continue so you guys can see what the boss battle looks like. It's kind of like the story mode. The, um... What's it called? It's kind of like campaign, but there's a boss at the end. So, and it's also kind of like, um... what's that thing called? Man, why can't I think of anything? It's not Colosseum. It's kind of like the crypt. So it's like if campaign and the crypt had a baby, it would be boss battles because it's like the crypt in the sense that once you use your heroes you can't use them again and it's like campaign because you have to work your way towards the uh towards the little cast i mean being the little castles before you can get to the boss oops sorry guys that was the radio it's closing my windows too loud outside right now Apologize for that extra noise guys. Alright, so then let's see. We're almost there. And I still have my three best lineups going. I mean, I'm basically fighting level 112, so this should be no problem to beat even the boss. So I don't know if they're gonna add better bosses, I mean harder bosses in the future, but as of right now it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to beat the um, the towers and the boss. The first boss I took out was like it was basically a joke. He died within seconds, and you'll see. I'm pretty sure this one should also be a joke. So I'm gonna use some of my best heroes and see how it goes. Look at that! He's almost dead already. I don't know if he has a weakness, some stuff isn't hitting. I think only physical damage is hitting. Yeah, it was only the, the dungeon man's physical damage that was hitting him. So there you go, that's something new that I didn't know. Uh, and that's basically it. 
and then after that you go on to the next level and it just repeats I'm not sure yeah you see it's similar boss different rewards so I'm gonna do those eventually um, and again I don't know if in the future they're gonna add more uh, boss battles so uh, that's basically all the updates that I've seen them add I'm not sure if I'm missing anything I don't think that I am they also oh wait the little update they also added a higher level on these as well with a cap of 150 now so yeah you see I could raise that one up as well I should probably do it right now um, so yeah they've also raised that I'm pretty sure on my last video the level cap was increased to 150 so that's not new but the fact that you could get more potions now that is new I'm pretty sure they reached the diff I mean they increased the difficulty level on a lot of things like your um, like the campaign story got increased to uh, 150 um, I don't know what this is called I keep forgetting is it called that's not temple is it Why am I forgetting the names guys I'm really forgetful oh the mountain got increased I'm pretty sure challenges got increased too yeah you see there's that level but I probably can't even do it oh no these these were these didn't get increased they had already been increased um i know the boss pit got increased as well i can't even beat these anymore so i'm gonna have to uh strategize on that figure out how to do that pretty soon oh and then there's a contest going on i guess that's the other thing with these heroes and the rewards are that new dragon which again i think is going to be one of the better ones so uh you guys are starting out uh make sure you make this a goal to level this guy up i'm pretty sure it's a good investment um other than that just a few comments on the game uh one i think they need to add a way to get items for your dragons faster because i'm having a really hard time leveling this guy up um i've been spending all my diamonds and energy trying to get all the items for this guy and it's taken me a while as you guys can see uh just to get him to cyan so um i think they need to uh, work on upgrading that somehow um and other than that i think that um actually i don't want to say that i want you guys to tell me what you guys think about this boss battle update uh you guys think it's going to be cool you guys uh um looking forward to see any updates on it maybe them adding new bosses or expanding on what they have now it looks like right here if you look to the right it looks like they're going to add a slot for another boss so uh kind of hyped about that but let me know what you guys think about these updates uh and if i missed anything also um let me know what your new lineups are guys because um the lineups that were the best for me are no longer the best anymore so uh if you guys want to give me any pointers on anything that's working out for you guys i'd really appreciate that but other than that guys uh thank you all for watching i hope this video was somewhat informational and uh and yeah, if you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys enjoy watching videos for Dragon Soul, RuneScape, or Dark Souls, or even Dragon City, uh, make sure you subscribe because I do videos on all those. So that all being said, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.